Another edition of the Narrative Podcast. Welcome all my narrators. Um, please bear with me today. I've been having some technical issues. I'm having trouble with my levels today. initially how I wanted to start off, but um, I don't know what happened. It seemed like my um, EQ just kind of fizzled out. <laughs> but um, yeah, so what I was saying, uh, welcome to the Narrative Podcast. Welcome all my narrators. Uh, welcome to anybody new to the podcast. Allow me to briefly um, break, it, break it down break down what it is I do here today. Um, Basically, it's called the Narrative Podcast for a reason. It's because um, I'm changing the narrative one episode at a time by destroying black, negative black stereotypes, by providing positive frames of reference. And why the reason I feel I need to do that is because the uh, media... um, flips the narrative and uh, distorts images and um, pushes agenda agendas about black people and black culture. So I feel like I needed to construct a platform where I'm um, highlighting and showcasing all our achievements, um, all our successes, everything we bring to the table and um, demonstrate where the antithesis of the uh, negative imagery floating around about us. Um, So essentially what I do here on this platform is just um, normalize being normal rather than um, playing into the negative black stereotypes that basically uh, hyper criminalize our men, hyper sexualize our women, you know, and um, portray us in a negative light. So I just want to um, accentuate and highlight You know, all we're doing right in the world and everything we bring to the table and just why we're so excellent, excellent and uh, really try to define what it is black magic really means. So hope I uh, sum that up for you. So I just give you a brief rundown of my uh, format. So I kick things off by... um, Extending the olive branch to any black-owned business owners for a free promotion. And after that, I um, advertise a contest that I'm currently hosting called The Chew On This. And I'll give you the details on both of those in just a second. I'm just going through the rundown. And then um, I promote black-owned businesses. And the reason why I uh, promote black owned uh, businesses is again to showcase and highlight, you know, our successes just um, to provide a a demonstration of people excelling, um, figuring their way out of the system, um, you know, the black owned businesses that I uh, promote in that section are just people 
normal people that um, didn't doesn't have a whole lot of background. Um, it's usually like like my if it's uh, one two people two or more people it's like like minded people you know came together and you know achieve something great through a commonality, a common bond, just a common interest and in, um, pool the resources and um, created something that can uh, last long after they're gone. And then essentially like, um, you know, generating and circulating black wealth, keeping uh, black dollars circulating in the uh, black community hiring their own, um, doing some type of outreach to empower the community that their uh, business is located in, such as like um, maybe a a back to school drive or if it's a dining establishment, it'll probably be, you know, free or discounted meals or something like that, something that um, empowers the community. Definitely all the uh, criteria is like hiring their own that I try to look for. And then after the black owned businesses, I um, spotlight a prominent figure and the prominent types of far- prominent uh, black figures I usually um, highlight are usually um, actors, actresses, um, people in the entertainment field, uh, athletes, recording artists, um, public figures, well-known public figures, but um, at the root of it is um, some type of activism, some type of, um, you know, empowerment, leading by example, you know, being the change. And then after I uh, highlight the uh, spotlight, the uh, prominent figure, I go on to a health and wellness tip of the day because, um, again, with the media, they have us uh, believing that we are the number one of all types of uh, diseases and ailments because it's, you know, it's programming and conditioning. It's psychological warfare at its finest. So I just want to um, provide tips to um, promote an active, healthy, fit lifestyle to, you know, keep your body nourished, keep your body and mind nourished, especially in these times. And then um, I go on to a speaking point, if I have a speaking point for the day, and then um, close out with, you know, a final thought, pearl, gem of wisdom, anything on my mind, anything thought-provoking, just leave you with something to uh, think about. So I hope that that is essentially the narrative podcast experience. So I'm going to get things started off right. Um, now, if you are or know of any black owned businesses that need promotion, would need some or would like some, I will definitely uh, promote it for free on my uh, platform. Just to get in contact with me, just hit me up at passionwebmail at poeticpassion.host. And in the subject bar, type promo. In the body of the email, tell me a little bit about yourself, product or service, and um, I promote it, I plug it on my platform. I uh, notify you when I'm going to be uh, making the podcast. Um, You know, all publicity is good publicity, especially free publicity. So you can't be free. And my platform is growing, so it would behoove you to reach out to me to get the uh, promotion. And then next, I'm hosting a um, Chew On This contest. And basically what this is, is um, a listener participation exercise. Just to um, tap in with uh, people that listen to my um, podcast on a regular and just to interact with you guys, um, find out what's on your mind and 
this particular exercise is just um, sharing something that has happened to all black people everywhere, no matter where you live, um, all black people can relate to this um, topic, um, shopping while black. Um, it's really a shame, but it's happened to all of us um, to some capacity, no matter where you live at in the world. And um, I want you to share your experience and to enter the contest. All you have to do is at that same email address at passionwebmailapoeticpassion.host and um, in the subject bar, put shopping while black. And then the body of the email, give me your um, shopping while black experience. Please try to keep it a bare minimum to four or five paragraphs. I don't want to read an entire novel. Um, I just want to know your experience, what happened. Um, and I gladly uh, talk about it on the podcast and um, for entering the contest, I send you a bulk supply of your favorite snacks. So in addition to your um, shopping wild black experience, you will need to include your main address so I know where to send your snack. And then um, specifics about your snack, like variety, type, flavor, etc. And I get that to you. And ideally, what I, I'm going to do is provide your snack provide you your snack from a black owned um, vendor. So it's like you're participating on my platform and then I'm going to be supporting a, a black owned business. So essentially you'll be supporting two black owned businesses. You'll be supporting me. Then I'm going to purchase, you know, the snack for you from a black owned vendor and send it to you. So it's like, you know, quid pro quo, everybody's getting something, so, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a circle of giving, everybody's getting something out of it, and then again, the reason why I'm doing it is just because, um, you know, listener support, participation, um, I'm going to do this contest, and then I'm working on a merch line, so... I'd probably be sending, um, do another contest where I'll be sending you some uh, narrative podcast merch in the very near future. But um, right now, it's just uh, chew on this contest. And yeah, I think I covered it. So that was uh, the chew on this and the um, free promotion. So now we're going to jump into or right or yeah, I made a little oversight. I want to do something. I had a live on a, I believe it was a Friday, Thursday or Friday, and I um, had did a whole lot of articles, but it seems I missed one. Yeah, it was it stood out, and I want to uh, rectify that right now because it's something that needs to be admonished. Um, just wanted to send a happy belated birthday to Wilhelmina Henry. Um, a few weeks ago, she celebrated her 102nd birthday. She taught for 52 years, educating thousands of students. Um, so, you know, we just definitely want to say happy birthday and I appreciate all the de uh, dedication over the years and all the uh, barriers you broke down within your time and, um, you know, fighting for our children to have um, an education. So thank you, Miss uh, Wilhelmina, and a happy belated birthday. 